Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Beak, and this is going to be the first episode of Lab Rats. Now, Lab Rats is just going to be not a full series of video game in and of itself, but is more or less going to be fresh looks or one-off kind of videos of games that either are requested, or I just feel like playing, or that people buy me because they want me to suffer, such as getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Now, I tried recording this once. It didn't come out too well, so I'm actually giving this another shot in an episode. Now, hopefully, I don't completely lose my mind. But, on the other hand, that's exactly the reason why it was bought for me. So, hopefully... So, yeah, this is probably going to be a solid however long it... A solid however the fuck long it is episode of me screaming at, uh, being really good at video games. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm going with. Me being good at video games. Because this game handles incredibly well. Really, really well. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the community. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Alright, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. What a nice man. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazzle, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of bee games. And bee games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a big game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, covering the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find your way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in Sexy Hiking is real. The obstacles in Sexy Hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Yep. 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 Yep.
Ugh. 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 And now he took forever to finish talking, which I don't remember him talking that long the first time I tried this. However, given that I screwed up that recording and... Damn it. Damn it. So here I am. And getting over it with Bennett Foddy. I am Crab Pot Man. Now I'm trying to climb a mountain. I am trying to get over it. I don't know how long I'm going to play this. I'm probably going to play it until uh, my brain falls apart. It handles very much. It's, it's all mouse. And, when you're building a video game world, you're building uh, with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Oh, this game handles like what's made it. Come on! Okay. Okay, alright. Soft. Soft. There we go. There we go. Okay. And. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Fuck. Oh. Whether this is a five minute video or a 20 minute video, I don't know. But I'm losing my mind either way. Because this. Ugh. The man who bought me this, you know who you are. Fuck you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Okay. Alright, everything's fine. Alright. Okay, no, stop. Don't do that. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. As long make small motions okay never mind everything's awful everything's awful stop it what makes you move half the time sometimes he just slides off of things for the purpose of infuriating the fuck out of me you know it's like ugh. like you cert you expect certain things in the game to have weight and a certain amount of weight at which time when you start interacting with them however the amount of weight and friction God damn it that crab pot man here has is I beg your pardon you wanna fucking go rock piece of shit okay the amount of weight and friction that this guy has seems to change just at random like you, you expect him to interact a certain way and then you come to the same thing slightly later and I hate everything and all of a sudden it's interacting differently I, I hate everything I hate it ah! fuck you know I would expect myself to stay on this little ledge here because I'm here now. But I bet you, if I'd stayed there a half second longer, it would have said, fuck you. Fuck this. And fuck everything. <gasps> okay. And see, sometimes this rock slope is perfectly nice 
and and like like sandpaper it fucking sticks to everything but then sometimes you just slide down it like it doesn't fucking like that like it doesn't fucking exist at all and it's infuriating and I hate it and this rock sometimes You've done this part before you know it's possible just do what you did the first time yeah fuck you fuck you Bennett I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. Okay, I can't get that. Get, get. Fuck! Play video games on the internet, they said. Record it for entertainment, they said. Bennett Foddy then comes along, he's like, fuck you, this is not a video game. And my friends are like, oh boy, it's a video game. This is not a video game, this is a stress test! No! No! No 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 no! Get. Get. How do I lift? Let me. Uppy! No! Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. Good. 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 Fucking good! Ugh. Ugh. And this air quote game has a lot of those. I know, because I've seen people play them. Because, of course, every fucking person's playing this. Because they're like, oh! I can climb the mountain. I'm not worried about climbing the mountain. I didn't want to climb the fucking mountain. I was fine not climbing mountains. I was like, I like playing video games, so I'll play video games. This is not a video game! Ah! Uh. 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 Okay. Uh. Congratulations, we have made it back exactly to where we've been. The same part that stumps me every... Stop it! I need to point out that even though I have the white circle showing, supposedly, where my mouse is, it is also not where the fuck my mouse is most of the time. Because there's like this fucking void around his chest where it just refuses to go. So it's like, oh, I'll go to the next best place. Except, it's never the next best place. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Stop it. Up. Oh, up. Oh, no. How the fuck did you even get under the stupid light thing? No. Oh, fuck everything. Fuck you. Fuck this. Come back. Oof. Sorry about that. No, you're not. You say sorry about that. You're not sorry at all because you made this fucking video game. And then you put achievements in it, such as climb it once, which is fine. And climb it twice, which is also fine. And then you're like, hey. Climb my fucking fuck mountain 20 fucking million times. The actual achievement is 50. I don't know why I said 20. All I know is, fuck this mountain! Mm. Fuck it. Fuck this mountain. Right in its mountain face. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What? That didn't even look like I was on it. Whatever. 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 What? Yeah. Stop it! Come on! Come on! Kim? 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 See? Like, sometimes you'll go through a spot and you're like, damn, that spot was really easy. And then you'll end up back at that same spot and you'll be like, how the fuck did I do this? Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. Fuck you! It's gotten to me! We are past things getting to me. The amount of things getting to me right now is literally all of the things. 
I have recorded this once already. That recording fucking got. This thing that we call failure is not the fault. Fuck! Put the okay. stain down. Mary Pickford. Say, that quote means literally nothing. And. Literally. Like, the act of saying that quote, the act of that quote existing, and the existential crisis that is this game with some fucker named Bennett Fuckfoddy. That means absolutely nothing. Because sometimes, I apparently have... Uh, sometimes, gravity has no effect on me, you know? And then other times, gravity is like, Woo! Oh, you're the heaviest fucker around. And then other times, I just fucking whiz-bang-zoom straight to the fucking... I beg your pardon? You want to tell me what's going on with these fucking fuck barrels here? Yeah? Yeah, you want to tell me? Yeah? Hmm? Yeah? Okay, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't fucking know what's happening. Do you? No! Because even the people who've played this game are like, yeah, that's a, that's a pile of fuck. And this is getting over with some fucker named Ben and Foddy. Goodbye, everyone.